Hey guys, and welcome back. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the role of pixel audiences and the pixel at the top of the funnel. So, as Justin mentioned in an earlier video, I'm going to talk to you about how we sort of track the retargeting lists that we're keeping an eye on at this top stage of the funnel, as well as talking to you about the total pixeled audience. So, if you remember from module two, we talked a little bit about the pixel, which is basically a piece of code we use to track site visitors. Here we're going to start implementing for the first time. We're going to look at tracking audience size, tracking audience behavior, and areas that they're interested in by looking at these total pixel audiences and retargeting lists. So let's jump inside the computer and I'm going to show you how you can pull this data and how you can put it into your dashboard. I'll see you on the inside. All right guys, here we are at the top of the funnel and we are going to be talking about pixeled audiences in this video. So hopefully you haven't been scared off. I know these are new for some people and if you're feeling overwhelmed already and you just don't want to learn about this pixeling stuff, you don't have to. But if you're interested or if you're already using it, tracking pixeled audiences is kind of the easiest way to sort of see what visitors are doing, where they're going, how they're using your site. So I'm going to talk about how we're going to use total pixeled audience and how to use these segmented groups um, I've already kind of introduced the segmented groups, but this total pixel audience is kind of a new concept. So basically this is tracking how many people visited your site in some number of days. So we're looking at the entire aggregate of people who have come to your site and gotten pixeled. So it's a really great way to get a sense of how many kind of unique users you've had during any period of time. Uh, at Digital Marketer, we track 180 days typically just to give us kind of a rolling total, we want to see it always climb. But it also makes a lot of sense if you want to track people that just visited in the last seven days or some, some number between that. You know, you can track last one day if that's what matters to you. For purposes of this, I'm going to talk about 180 days, but know that you can kind of adjust that to look at whatever time frame you want. And you're basically just seeing how many unique users who have gotten pixeled have come, shown up, popped up in that time. So a few people are going to be excluded because they have pixeling turned off on their browsers, but it'll still give you a really good sense of what kind of traffic you're getting. So let's just jump into Facebook Ads Manager and I'll show you this pixeled one. So for us, it's, well, that pulls up a lot of options, doesn't it? For us, it's, um, here we go, digitalmarketer.com. So this is just visitors to the entire site in the last 180 days. So we've got 5 through 3, 6, 0. Now the kind of uh, funny, tragic, not funny, haha -ha thing is that you can't look at pixeled audiences sizes historically. So this is one of those metrics that you really need to make sure you're on the ball updating your sheet because I can't go back and say, all right, what was my pixeled audience size seven days ago? What was it 14 days ago? What was it four months ago? That capability is not available. So make sure you're updating that as you go along. But you know, right now we see this many. Uh, we could see, most likely we'll see a jump to something like this. And like I said, it's a rolling total. So we're losing people who have fallen out of that 180 day window and adding people who have come in. Um, but you wanna keep an eye on this to make sure that generally speaking, you're seeing growth in audience size over time. Now, I didn't originally set this one up for AdWords, so it's a little different, but still a good example and just proof that you can do this here too. So this is all visitors who have visited Digital Marketer in the past 14 days. We pop here, we can see it. So people who have visited Digital Marketer, 14 days open, and we're using that to do search and display. And we're gonna actually switch this to where we also tracked 180 just so we've got the running count, but we can pull this number over too. So that's how we're tracking total pixeled audience size. And this can kind of replace or just help you get a good sense uh, in comparison with total visitors. So we're looking at a bigger window, of course, um, and it's probably worth tracking pixeled audience size for a seven day period every time you're pulling total visitors just to help you get a good sense of what's going on, what you're seeing, all that kind of stuff. But really fast way, because all you need to do is jump into the ads manager and say, all right, boom, digitalmarketer.com. This is how many visitors we've had in the time window that have been pixeled. Same thing with AdWords. So that's the basics of these total pixeled audiences. Really powerful, really fast and easy. 
Uh, the only trick is you need to make sure you're updating them on the regular basis. If you kind of fall, fall off, let it slide, well, you're not going to be able to go back and get that historic data. The other thing we're looking at at the top of the funnel as, part, as far as pixel segments go are these kind of interest segments. So we've created in Facebook, and the principle is the same in AdWords, these pixel segments. So it's people who have read articles about Facebook but haven't opted in for anything yet. People who have read articles about blogging. People who have read articles about social media. So it's people who have come and read blog articles about any topic whatever fits your site's need, that have not gone on to purchase something, that have not gone on to opt in for something. So it's really kind of tracking these top, top, top of funnel people who are just starting to get interested in what you're doing. And the way we do this search, if you're using the naming rules that I introduced in an earlier video, is just type A colon, and boom, here we go. So we can see our audience size for Facebook is about 200,000. Our audience size for blogging 71,000 and social 75,000. So we can just go plug that in here. And voila. And we run into the same problem with this that we do with total pixel audience in that you just need to make sure you're updating it regularly. But tracking this will kind of let you see how many new visitors are coming and reading content and not converting. You can kind of compare this to the total number of views that you're getting for these different segments to get a sense of how well you're actually turning these visitors into leads. But they also show you a lot of opportunity. So we know that these Facebook, the Facebook traffic, there's a lot of people who have come and read blog articles on Facebook that haven't converted. So doing more content on Facebook with a more aggressive CTA, or maybe doing some retargeting ads if you're familiar with those to try to get these people who have come and read stuff but haven't yet converted, uh, turned into actual leads. It's gonna be a super, super powerful thing you can do in your business. And you know there's a lot of people here, so the opportunity is pretty large. We're gonna track this over time, and then when we've got more than one point of data, you know, right now this looks pretty boring, but if we had three, four, five, six, seven days, or seven weeks, excuse me, we would start to see trends, growth over time. So just a really useful thing to kind of do to track how well your audience is growing. And that's really, really important. You need to make sure that you're filling the top of the funnel, right? And this is a great way to make sure that you are doing that, that you're filling it up. Now, if you're just totally crushing it on conversion, well, that's great. I mean, and you're just gonna see that your people who have become leads, your people who have made purchases are much larger than they are for most people. But typically for these segments, we're gonna see the this top of the funnel pixel segment for topics of interest is gonna be the largest group. Next largest is people who've seen the landing page but not opted in, then opt-ins, et cetera, et cetera, on down the funnel. But that's all we're gonna be doing for pixel segment. Once you've been using this for three or four weeks in your business, you're really gonna to start to see trends in growth and it just gives you some really cool alternative ways to track audience size. And if you're doing retargeting, Man, knowing this is huge because you can figure out where you need to be spending your time and energy as far as ad creation goes. So that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, Justin will join you in the next video.